show the whole world what we're all about. Be the girls with the passion for passion. Ooh, we're rats. We'll always be there for each other. Ooh, we're rats. Yeah. Styling how we feel. Ooh, talking about our best friends. Yeah. Together we can do anything. We all got a plan to dream. Take a chance and believe. Make it real. Rats. Wow, check out our fan mail. Most of it's for you, cool cat. Must have been that cover story I did on extreme street fashions. Get real. Like, who would ever wear those weirdo clothes? Your fashion sense, like, so stinks. A baby's diaper smells better? <gasps> you are, like, such a fashion freak? Get yourself a circus job? My readers hate me! Wait! Cool Cat! Bunny Boo, there is something seriously suspicious about these letters. <laughs> I am such a loser! Maybe I should just quit the magazine. No way, Cool Cat. We couldn't do Bratz without you. If you left, we'd have to shut down forever, and everyone at school would have to read your thing magazine, and their brains would rot, and Queen Berdine would rule the world. What a nightmare. Look, before you do anything totally crazy, come with me to see a psychic. What good would that do? A lot. She'll predict your future, and then you'll know you have nothing to worry about. Come on, what do you have to lose? Well, okay. Hmm, a psychic. The future is looking very pink. What brings you here today? I'm freaking out about my future. Perfection. Let me take a little pixie wixie inside my crystal ball. <gasps> Mother of Crystal? Do you have three friends who work with you at some sort of uh, publication? Yes. Horror of horrors! <gasps> you must leave the magazine immediately or your friends will be... <gasps> my friends will be what? Doomed! And it will all be your fault. Jade, wait! Come back! Out of my way, you rotten little brat! What did you tell my friend? The truth, now scram! Berdine! Oh my gosh! I've got to find Jade! Jade! Jade, can you hear me? Where are you? Jay! Jay, wait up! Johnson reporting live from the Stylesville Mall. Maniacal magazine mogul Bertie Maxwell has just launched another assault, attacking innocent victims with her specially formulated brain-reducing pink spray of doom. Taking over the world is like so much fun! Yeah, it's like even better than recess. I hope you peons like your smoothies pink. <laughs> pink. Pink, pink. And it's another stunning victory for Bertine Maxwell. But wait, the brat, Stylesville's very own fashion superheroes have come to save the day. <gasps> Party's over, Bertine. Oh, but I'm just starting to have fun. <gasps> Try this. It's a free sample. <laughs> <laughs> Cover your faces, people! Don't let her turn us into pink zombies! At last! This mall is mine! <laughs> Today the juice bar, tomorrow the world! <laughs> Bertine Maxwell has once again trounced the brats in a stunning defeat. <laughs> Girls, do you have anything to say? <laughs> Jade! Wherever you are, we need you! <laughs> oh, 
no. My worst nightmare has actually come true. Be unstoppable. <laughs> My diabolical potion is ready. A potion so ghastly, so evil, that no one will ever dare stand in my way again. I bet it, like, makes you all bloaty. Hello? What? Bratz Magazine is still outselling your thing? Please don't hurt me! <laughs> that settles it. We must destroy those belligerent brats and their miserable little magazine once and for all. Brats, it's time for you to go to that big catwalk in the sky. We'll never beat Bradine without Jade. Our only hope is to get her back here. It's not happening, pretty princess. Cool Cat is gone. Uh oh, it's the emergency hotline. I'll put it on video phone. Girls, Mayor Tashi here. Code Red, I mean Code Peak. Emergency! Birdine's attacking Styles High. We need your help immediately. People, like it or not, it's styling time. the last of the elusive youth market. All that stands between me and world domination are those three wretched brats who should be flying in any second now to protect their precious school. Give it up, Bardine! Quick! Deploy mega missiles! From down. You insipid little brats think you can destroy me? Well, think again. I don't think the brats will be able to take this. Hold on, people.
people, are you okay? No, I'm not okay. After all the time I spent blow drying my hair, and look! Verdine is totally going to pay for this. It's Queen Verdine to you. Girls, what do you say? We need to do the brats. What do you think of that? Yes. It's finally over for you ratty little brats. The reign of pink has begun, and your thing magazine will rule once again. The girls with a passion for fashion are about as over as the hoop skirt. Dream on, Verdine. <laughs> and now you will be the first to sample the most potent of my life-destroying potions, Agent Rosé. Mother of Pink! My potion was supposed to destroy, not disfigure. Hey, Kirsty, What are we, like, doing over there? Oh, my gosh! We've been tweevalized! Citizens of Stylesville, Birdine Maxwell has captured the brats and is conquering the rest of the free world as I speak. Long live the Queen! Long live Birdine! Long live the Queen! Jade, where are you? Self-expression and freedom of choice have been outlawed. Birdine now controls everything, even the food supply. That's right, Tubbo. No more carbs for you or anyone else. From now on, you eat what I eat and you do what I tell you. For I am Verdine Maxwell, the founder, president, editor in chief of Your Thing magazine. And now, once again, your reigning queen of fashion. Long live the queen! Yeah! My first decree, I am ordering you all to wear pink. And everyone must carry a copy of Your Thing magazine with them at all times. Your Thing? My teenage daughter says that magazine reeks. Stop it, Tubbo. Long live the queen. Long live the queen. Long live the queen. Long live the queen. Please join me later today for my special press conference in which I will be announcing the demise of the Brats. to know you won't be around for the return of shoulder pads. Hmm? <laughs> hey, if I have to go around looking like a tweeble, then taking a swim in boiling oil suddenly doesn't seem so bad. Tell me about it. I'll never be able to look in a mirror again. But think what it will do to our complexion. You've done some low things, Berdine, but this time you've outdone even yourself. Flattery is not going to save you. I'm so glad Jade's been spared this. Well, at least she had the good sense to desert you rodeo clowns. She left the magazine because of that hate mail the tween will send and your phony psychic prediction. Mm, the perfect plan which is coming to fruition now that I am sending you despicable brats to your untimely deaths. <laughs> Excuse me? Death? I think I'm going to have an extreme teen drama queen moment here. Our lives are like so over! Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Oh, 
all my fault. I never should have left the magazine of my friends. How can I ever forgive myself? Jade! I'm stoked to see you. I've been looking everywhere for you. What's happening? It's like Verdine has taken over the whole city. Where are the brats? They're in serious danger. burdine has got them held up at the pet food factory. You gotta rescue them before it's too late. Come with me, Cameron. I don't think I can do it. I can't. My lack of superpowers will only hold you back. Besides, you're a fashion superhero. Correction, was a fashion superhero. Not true. You've just gotta believe in yourself again. Their lives and the fate of the world depend on it. You're right. It's styling time. <laughs> Wish me luck, Cameron. Jade, may the passion for fashion be with you. Hanging from a rafter above a boiling cauldron of pink oil is so not what I wanted to do tonight. Where have you two bozos been? It's time to make Bratz dip. Lower the ropes. Uh, Kirsty, Casey, I wouldn't do that if I were you. You'll get rope warts. Yeah! Don't listen to them. Lower them, lower them! <laughs> Royale is waiting for his brat's puppy chow. Now, chop, chop. Not so fast, losers! Jane! Who? Oh, what? No, Cool Cat, it's, it's us! You gotta believe it! Verdine turned us into Tweedles! Mother of Pink, get her! Cool Cat, watch out! <laughs> cool Cat, watch your back! You will never defeat me, you freak of fashion! Bring it on, Verdine! <laughs> oh! Okay, bird butt, kiss my feet! Oh, eat up! Caught him! Royale's going Tweetle. <gasps> you wouldn't dare watch me. <laughs> Yo, Cool Cat, watch it! Ugh. Do you hear me? Mother of Pink! My power! It's gone! One last thing, Bird Butt. I have a little present for you. Voila! <gasps> Carbs! Are you trying to make me fat? You get the idea. Now eat up, or it's Tweevil time for you. Chop, chop! Mother of Pink! Do you know who I am? I am Boudin <coughs> Maxwell, the founder, the president, editor-in-chief of your thing, magazine, and the reigning queen of fashion. Okay? I think so. Ouch. We 
can explain everything. It all started out with the Tweevils, who we found out wrote those nasty letters, and then Verdeen pretended to be a psychic, and then... You can explain later, Angel. Right now, we've got a magazine to put out. And so, my contribution to this month's issue of Bratz Magazine was a radical departure from my style and fashion scoops. My article, What Your Dreams Reveal About You, became the cover story. And you know what? Our readers loved it. Dear Jane, your articles rock. You are my fashion superhero. Thanks, everyone. I love you, too. And may the passion for fashion always be with you. Uh, uh, uh.